To show the capabilities of 3D printing, a lot of the very large professional 3D printing machines have done this. Printed a working single print adjustable wrench in plastic. Well, I'm going to try to do the same thing, only smaller, on the DaVinci. Large 3D printer companies have even gone so far as to print huge wrenches. But I found a small one on Thingiverse, so I figured I'd try this one. So I downloaded the .stl file into XYZWare. Then I needed to rotate it in the X direction and the Y direction, so the worm gear would end up straight up and down. I learned that this is the best way to print a gear to get good results all the way around. For the export file, I chose supports, a 50% fill, a 0.2 layer height, and then I made the support easy to break away at its lightest level. And then it sliced. It didn't take very long to slice and it was ready to go. So the results as you can see shows all the support material underneath plus all the holes and around the gear. So this would take some work to break away, but it was ready to send to the printer. While the print finishes, I was curious what was inside this thing. So I imported the .stl file into Tinkercad. And then I rotated it 90 degrees so it was on its side just like I was printing it. And then I wanted to put a slice through the middle of it to see if I could see the gaps of how this thing was put together. Because see, I didn't have the original file. All I had was the .stl file. I didn't have the source file so I didn't know exactly what was inside. So this was just a trick I tried to see if it would work. So I made a block and stretched it out across the whole wrench. But I only wanted that block to go halfway through. And then I made that block into a hole and then combined everything into one new object. Now what this did essentially was erase half the wrench. And so then, once the half was erased, I could go in and hopefully look at the gaps where the gear was and the mechanism around it. And sure enough, there were gaps around it that I could easily see. Gaps on the top, on the bottom, and even the little fill blocks that were put in this design, designed in to be removed. And then around the gear, I wondered how that worm gear was put in place. And you could barely see a gap on the top so I zoomed in and then you can see on the bottom if I turn it here you can see the gap goes in that the worm gear comes down to a point so all this gap here is what I need to break away when I get the final print broke away pretty easy there's definitely some cleanup, but this should just, most of this break away by hand. The real test will be when we try to move the parts. A little bit out of the handle here. says 3D, that printed. So now it's here in the gear where I really need to clean things up. That's the most important part. I'll just kind of stab away at the, the support. I'm going to probably take a little bit of force and see if I can get this thing to spin. Okay, so now I'm going to try a wrench to turn the wrench. The uh, I got the pieces out and what I want to do is put this just on the bolt here. Ooh, I got it. I broke it loose. I'm gonna take a little bit of back and forth, but there we have it. We got some more cleanup and stuff to do, but 
the Da Vinci could do it. So there you have it. A single print adjustable wrench. Not as strong as the original metal one, but really, really cool. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube knows you liked it. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And coming up in the next couple videos, I finally got motorized gears working. This was a real challenge. In fact, it helped make this gear on the wrench possible. So that's coming up. And so is a video showing you how I adjust the bed on these Da Vinci's to give you really good adhesion and good prints. See you next time.